Good evening, everybody. Marl the Cross 316 coming back to you with another video. And I haven't done one of these type of videos in a while. Um, Bible related videos. It's been a while since I've done something like this. But you know, Christmas is coming up in just about two days. And I think I want to talk about the topic of Christmas. And you know, Christmas, where I live, it's a very wide uh, practiced holiday. Um, I don't know how it is in England or any other countries, but here in the United States, we take it seriously. We we celebrate Christmas, we uh, get along with everybody, we uh, come together as families and just enjoy each other's company and give gifts of, you know, love. And that's what Christmas is mostly about. But a lot of people do not think about what the true meaning of Christmas is all about. And the true meaning of Christmas is about the birth of Jesus. And uh, we, we go out and buy all these gifts for people and we rush and rush and it's all for one day of course but a lot of people just do not think about the true meaning of Christmas being a part of Jesus being born into this world. So what me and my family do, we go uh, to a church to where we go to every Sunday. They have like a Christmas evening like a Christmas Eve service and we go and we uh, have a good Christmas service and we learn about Jesus and uh, and he will my pastor will probably preach out of Matthew so I'm going to turn in Matthew chapter 1 verse and I'm going to be reading verses 18 through 25 so if you have your Bible I'll just uh, encourage you to get a Bible and open up with me and we'll get started. Uh, this is how the birth of Jesus came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together she was found to be with child through the Holy Spirit. Because Joseph her husband was a righteous man and did not want to expose her to public disgrace, he had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream and said, Joseph, son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what, what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child, and will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angel of the Lord had commanded him, and took Mary home as his wife, but he had no union with her until she gave birth to a son, and he gave him the name Jesus. And that sums up the story of Jesus, and that that's what truly... Christmas is all about. It's not about Santa Claus. I don't know who came up with the idea of Santa Claus. That's it's the most ridiculous thing. And a lot of kids get uh, like wrapped up in the story of Santa Claus. But it's all about the birth of Jesus. We picked Christmas to be a part of uh, celebrating the birth of the Messiah. Now, this is not the only... Matthew is not the only book that talks about the birth of Jesus. All four Gospels go into detail about the birth of Jesus, but there is also ancient prophecy that also went into detail about the birth of Jesus, and you can find that in the book of Isaiah. Now Isaiah was written maybe a thousand years before Jesus was even born. So this is how important Jesus is. He was prophesied to be born. He was prophesied to come to the world and to die for our sins and the Messiah was prophesied back then and you could find the famous sign in chapter 7 verse 14 it says therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign the virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son and he'll call him Emmanuel isn't that just cool isn't that just mind-boggling that even back then, they knew that a Messiah would come and that he would be born by a Virgin Mary. Isn't that just 
amazing. And you can also find in Isaiah chapter 9, uh, verse 6, it says, For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his so shoulders. And he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. And that's exactly the characteristics of Jesus when he came to the earth. He came in human form. The Word became flesh and made his dwelling among us. And you can find that in the book of John. But one thing I want uh, you to just think about when you gather around your family, so you need to think about the true meaning of Christmas, which is the birth of the Messiah. He came into this world to die for our sins and to change the course of history. Because of Jesus, because of the birth of Jesus, there is hope. There is hope in this world because of his birth. And there is still hope today that Anyone who believes in the Lord Jesus can be saved. And I'm just saying that this Christmas, gather around your family, hold tight to them, and you know what I'll be doing with my family? I'll be celebrating the birth of Jesus and thinking about how great a Savior He really is. Hope everybody has a great Christmas. And until next year, I'll see you. Same.